you try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking With you everything know that marriage is a lifetime commitment before God and man. It is ordained by God. You two remember this. From here on out, you won't stay married because you're in love. You figure out some reason to be in love because you decided to get married. And those of y'all that are married could use this opportunity and this beautiful day to maybe fall back in love with who you're already married to. Jacob, as you stand before these witnesses, are you signifying that you are taking the initiative in this marriage covenant? and that you are by the example of our Lord Jesus Christ assuming the greater responsibility of carrying out these terms. I am. Jacob and Miss Tara having freely and deliberately chosen one another as partners for life, I ask that you carefully consider the following instructions. First and foremost, I remind you that your marriage is an illustration of our Lord's relationship to his people. As you are joined together, it is not just to satisfy the laws of the state, it is not just to satisfy your desire to be together, but it is to illustrate to the world God's relationship through his, to his children through Jesus Christ. Because of this awesome responsibility, I charge you both, the vows you take today be bound unbreakable. From here on out, your lives are you're welded together and ain't coming apart. I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone make the foundation of a happy home. If you keep the vows that you're about to take without exception, Seek and constantly try to live in the will of God. Keep God first. Your marriage will be filled with joy and happiness. Now, Jacob, do you take Miss Tara to be your wedded wife, promising before God with your family and friends as witnesses that you'll be to her a faithful, loving, devoted husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish, forsake all others, Keep yourself to her and to her alone as long as you both shall live. I do. Miss Tara, do you take Jacob to be your wedded husband, promising before God with your family and friends as witnesses that you'll be to him a faithful and loving, devoted husband to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish, forsaking all others. Keep yourself to him and to him alone as long as you both shall live. I do. Y'all look at them two rings, hold them right out there in front of you. These rings are an outward and a visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond that unites your two hearts. You see how them rings are perfectly circles? 
They don't have a starting and a stopping. And that's how y'all gotta love each other. That's how God loves us. He don't love us on our good days and not love us on our bad days. He loves us every day. And you guys gotta love each other every day. I also want you to remember that those rings are made of something precious, right? Precious metals, precious memories. You guys are precious in the sight of God. She's probably a little more precious, just so you know. But you treat each other precious, okay? I mean, seriously, y'all, you, you two treat each other more precious than any other song ones that walk on this earth, okay? Jake, put this ring on Miss Tara's finger and repeat after me. This ring. This ring. I give to you. I give to you. As a token and vow. As a token and a vow. Of constant and forever love. Of constant and forever love. Miss Tara, would you place your ring on Jacob's finger and repeat after me? This ring. This ring. I give you. I give you. As a token and vow. As a token and vow. Of constant and forever love. Of constant and forever love. I can't get it. It's there. Y'all please join me in a prayer. Father God, we come to you. And we give you thanks. And we give you praise that today we've all been standing here and we've been blessed to truly see and hear love. Lord, I thank you for this couple. I thank you for the family that they are becoming, for the oneness that they will be, and for the little ones that they will create, Lord, and that they will raise to fear and respect and love you. And Lord, I just pray blessings upon them, Father. You're a loving Father. And I pray uh, for a hedge of protection that you would just... Uh, you just keep them safe and you'd bind the devil and keep him out of their mess, Lord. Just keep him out of their world for a season. Let them have a true, uh, joyful marriage, Lord. Let them, let them be rock strong and, and continue to move forward, Lord. Let them continue to put you first and each other second and nobody in between them, Lord. Let them pursue you. Let them every day get up and hunt and chase you and run slap over each other in the process. Thank you, Lord, that love is real and love is alive today. Forgive us for our sins in Jesus' name. Amen. Jacob. And as much as we've taken these vows, Miss Tara, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ in the great state of Texas. You ready? <laughs> I can, Jacob, you may kiss your bride. On behalf of this family and all of our friends, we want to toast and say cheers to this brand new beautiful couple. Amen. Amen. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Miss Jacob Waller.
Somebody got 